What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video commentary and today, today I have some Black Ops 3. No, not one, not two, but we have some Black Ops 3, baby. This was gameplay from the free weekend on Steam that they had um, the 25th through the 28th, I believe, from February. And so I was like... Let me go give this game another try to see what was changed from the beta up until this point in time. And I'll be honest, I was wrong about this game. I thought I would hate all of the boost jumping. I thought I would hate the wall running. I thought I would hate the other maps from outside of the beta. I thought I would hate all of the specialists. I think I was just upset because... It was a futuristic game, so to speak. You see, I think I was upset because of how Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3 turned out for me. Like, later in the life cycle for those games. At the beginning, I did enjoy Black Ops 2 and MW3, but later in the life cycle, it just went, oh my goodness, horrible, horrible, horrible. So I think I was upset from those two games coming into Black Ops 3 and saying that, um, that this game is gonna bomb, or you know, this I don't like this. I think I was too harsh um, before when I spoke about Black Ops 3, but I was wrong. I was wrong. Let me tell you, I'll be the first person to tell you guys I was wrong uh, when it comes to Black Ops 3 as a whole. Now, don't get me wrong, okay? Just because I said I was wrong about Black Ops 3 and my feelings toward the game does not mean I'm wrong about the problems. The problems are still there. Like the shotguns, even though they got nerfed, they are still hella OP. But like I said before, I'm warming up to the idea of the boost jumping. I think Treyarch nailed the, uh, the extra boost you get in the game. It's not like the EXO movement from Advanced Warfare. Oh my goodness, that was horrible. In Black Ops 3, the boost movement is so fluid. It's easier to control, and I, it's just, I think it fits well in the game. Along with the specialist abilities. For the most part, I think they're pretty much balanced. Uh, they definitely add a new level of fun factor to Black Ops 3. After playing for like the three days from the free weekend, I was just like, oh my gosh, I gotta get back on this game, but I don't have it. So, I don't know. I don't know if I wanna buy Black Ops 3 or if I just, if I should just skip the game. I don't know if I should go back on my word because I, I'm, I was really digging Black Ops 3. I gotta hand it to Treyarch, man. They did a good job on Black Ops 3. The maps are good. The weapons are pretty nice. I think they should add more SMGs. And speaking of SMGs, oh my goodness. Black Ops 3 is like a hit marker machine for SMGs. It's crazy how many hit markers I get. That's why I think the specialist abilities work so well, too, is because they go ham. If, they, if the enemy doesn't kill you... You know, with a shotgun, or, uh, you know, with their streaks or anything, and you got a lobby of noobs or whatever, you whip out your specialist ability, and you just go ham. I mean, you, you just go, and you go off on these dudes. <laughs> and it's just so much fun, wall running on people, bumping into each other and falling to your death. Yeah, it sucks, but it's funny as hell. But let's talk about some of the problems, I think. Uh, exist within Black Ops 3. Now for PC, I played for three days, man. And I was lucky because when the free weekend happened, I was off for like those three days of work. And I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with myself? And I, you know I'm getting bored with the games I'm playing. So I was like, okay, let me go try out Black Ops 3 and see what's going on in this game after the beta. Because I played the beta for a bit, but that was back when my computer wasn't ish. But now that I've upgraded my PC, I can enjoy Black Ops 3 in full settings, my native resolution, so that's always nice. One of the issues I have with Black Ops 3 is that it's inconsistent. You'll get hit markers for days with an SMG. So one game I'll be getting hit markers galore, the other game I'll just be melting people in like 2-3 to three shots, it's like, it's, like this is crazy. But most of the time with SMGs I'll get a whole ton of hit markers, and I'll just get cleaned up by shotguns, which leads me to my next problem with 
Black Ops 3 is that the shotguns are still overpowered. And speaking of something being overpowered, can we get some armor for our legs? Treyarch? I don't know why. This is the year. What is this game? What year is this game set in? I mean, it, right now it's 2016. But what year is Black Ops 3 pushed to? Like 2065 or something like that? And we still do not have powerful uh, leg armor. I mean, we get we get cleaned up in one shot to the legs from a shotgun. We get cleaned up and owned, uh, you know, in like three shots. You just melt people so quickly by shooting them in their legs, in their feet. It's crazy. Just about every Call of Duty has been like this. This is something I wish these developers would work on. Because it's so annoying when you just have this scrub always aim for the feet. And they clean you up faster than you clean them up because you're shooting center mass and up. It's ridiculous. Why are we feeding the noobs? If you can't aim for the chest and up, then you shouldn't be playing this game at all. That's all I gotta say because this is, it's just ridiculous how easy they make shooting at the legs. And it's just, like you just look stupid doing it. Also, steady aim and the perk gun ho. Oh my goodness, you need to get rid of this crap because steady aim, you know, like the hip fire and you're just spraying. I mean, you're shooting from the hip and you're just letting loose on the trigger. Um, that needs to be nerfed a little bit as well. I wish the recoil or like the hit detection would be like CSGO where, you know, you're right in front of somebody a lot of the time and you just let loose on that trigger. You're right in front of them, and you'll hit them like twice. Those are some things I wish that these developers would work on with Call of Duty. Because, let's be honest, Black Ops 3, it's a, it's a good game. I'll be honest, Black Ops 3 is better than I would have ever hoped for. And the funny thing is that you have, again, this is another Call of Duty with extended movements. And you still have people... That just sit in the back and camp and head glitch. It's like, what are you doing? You're giving all of these tools. You're giving these new specialist abilities. You're just going to sit in the back of the map and head glitch like a big old baby? Oh my goodness. Somebody please shoot these noobs. Somebody uninstall their game, please. You know, other than those, those are off the top of my head. The issues I have with Black Ops 3. Other than that, you know, I think the specialist abilities are pretty much balanced. The weapons are pretty much balanced. There are some weapons that might be a little bit too accurate and too powerful. Basically, the only weapons I was using in Black Ops 3 were uh, the SMGs. I got all of the SMGs unlocked. The CUDA was one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, that, oh, it's such a good gun. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about Black Ops 3. If you guys have the game or if you play during the free weekend on Steam. Um, I would definitely like to have another go at this game when I get a chance to. But that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm War Tank. I'm getting out of here. And of course, as always, in the meantime, have a great time fragging. Infantry neutralized.